On the eve of Gandhi Jayanti, the 154th birth anniversary of the father of nation, Mahatma Gandhi, Congress President Malikarjun Kage and Member of Parliament Rahul Gandhi today paid tributes. In the morning, Kage paid floral tributes to the father of the nation at Raj Ghat. In a post on X, the Congress President said that Mahatma Gandhi is not just an individual, he is an idea, an ideology, and the moral compass of our great nation. Also, taking to the micro blogging site, Rahul Gandhi said, The path of truth, non violence, and harmony, the path to unite India, was shown by Mahatma Gandhi. Tributes to Papu on his birth anniversary. Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired a meeting of the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP Central Election Committee to finalize its candidate for the forthcoming assembly elections in Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh. According to party sources, the primary focus of the discussion revolved around constituencies where the party's presence is relatively weaker in Rajasthan. There were deliberations on the possibility of filing several members of parliament and ministers in the Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh assembly elections. An indefinite shutdown has been imposed in Manipur's Churachandpur district today following the arrest of seven individuals including two minors by the Central Bureau of Investigation last evening. The decision was met following intense deliberations among representatives from organizations who convened to address the situation. The organizations during a joint meeting deliberated upon a discussion declaring an indefinite shutdown in Churachandpur district as a form of protest against the alleged abductions. The National Investigation Agency and Central Bureau of Investigation have been formally requested to release the seven individuals within a period of 48 hours. The Indigenous Tribal Leaders Forum ITLF of Manipur has slammed the Central Bureau of Investigation and National Investigation Agency for arresting seven individuals, including two women and two minors, in a connection to abduction and murder of missing students. Raising doubts on the CBI for selective has in arresting the individuals, the ITLF stated in their press note. If the Central Bureau of Investigation can act with such swiftness, why has it not arrested anyone in more heinous cases, like the rape and murder of two tribal girls in Imphal, the burning of seven-year-old tribal boy along with his mother and aunt, the torture and beheading of a tribal youth, and so many other acts of atrocities against tribals? The Tripura Pradesh Congress Committee President Ashish Kumar Saha has termed the state government a regime led by dictators and alleged that both the Agartala Municipal Corporation and the state government have created chaos in Agartala city by raising property taxes and electricity charges in the lead up to Durkabuja. During a press conference today, PCC Chief Saha declared that the state is experiencing misgovernance under the guise of good governance. Change is 6, China's new machine to the moon to be launched in the first half of 2024, will also carry a Pakistani satellite to the moon, the media reported. The China National Space Administration CNSA has stated in a statement on the social media site Weibo that the Change E6 machine will be launched to the moon in the first half of 2024, the news reported. According to the news report, this mission will carry payloads to the moon from Pakistan the European Space Agency, ESF France and Italy. The Indian men's hockey team on Monday qualified for the semi-final round of the 19th Asian Games Hangzhou 2022 with a 2-0 win over Bangladesh. With five wins in all their five pool stage matches, India ended the pool stage as table toppers. Harmanpreet Singh and Mandeep Singh scored a hat-tricks each while Abhishek scored a breast for India. Lalit Kumar Upatia, Amit Rohidas, Nilakanta Sharma and Gurjan Singh also scored a goal, each to help India get the win.